I'm going through the script, and this is either going to be the greatest Gen Z explainer video of logical fallacies or a complete cluster fudge, and there is no in between. Ad hominem is when your friend doesn't know how to have a conversation, so they start gaslighting you by saying bad things about your character rather than talking about what you actually said. It's attacking the person, not the argument or the statement. Straw man is when your friend wants to make you look bad. So when you tell your friend you like some Taylor Swift songs, he tells everybody you're a closet Swifty just so he can make fun of you and make you the butt of every joke. It's taking what you actually said and making it look different so it's easier to attack or make fun of. Appeal to authority is when Dwayne The Rock Johnson claims to go to In-N-Out for the first time for the third time on his Instagram alone so he can get more clicks. Or if Drake ran for president or every single time you see an ad that uses influencers when it's really just selling you cheap Chinese razors to shave your balls. It's using authority rather than the content of the argument to sell a product, idea, or something else. Appeal to ignorance is the island boys. Just because you don't understand it, doesn't make it true. This falls close in line with giving people so much information they feel overwhelmed and they can't make a decision so they choose to just ignore it. False cause or post hoc is assuming that because you went viral on TikTok one time, you're somehow gonna move to LA and become an influencer, but you're not. It's taking one little thing and extrapolating that to a huge thing. Like the 10 out of 10 I saw in the airport and we made eye contact for about three seconds and then I never saw her again and fantasized about how amazing our life could have been, yeah. False cause. Circular reasoning is every presidential debate, repeating what you already were told by your PR team louder with more emotion and more passion without changing anything you actually said. It's also your parents saying, I said so, rather than giving a valid reason for something. False dilemma is when your girl wants to go out to eat. So you tell her we can go to Chick-fil-A or McDonald's mm. because you're cheap and you don't want her to know those other options because you're broke. The truth is it's a false dilemma. There's tons of restaurants you can go to. You can do a whole number of things, but you're trying to narrow the decision to just two things things to hopefully prove a point. Hasty generalization is when your partner gets a text and you immediately assume they are cheating on you and the world is falling apart because you never learned to love yourself and you should probably see a therapist. Appeal to emotion is when you're having a conversation with your friend, but it starts to get heated and it turns into an argument and all of a sudden they start crying. So you have to say that they're right and move on or you just lose. To cocaine or appeal to hypocrisy is when your homie says you should be eating healthier. Then they go to In-N-Out and get a four by four animal style fries and a large shake because they deserve it after wandering around the gym in sweatpants and a tank top for the last two hours. Red herring is when you're talking with your girl and she knows she's wrong, but she doesn't admit it. So she starts bringing up the past or completely irrelevant information to distract you from the main point. You're now in a downward spiral and your only chance of pulling the plane up from certain destruction is to give in and let her take the reins because you never wore the pants in the relationship and you never will. Appeal to tradition is your grandpa saying back in the old days because he has dementia and thinks everything in the year 1900 is objectively good. Just because it's tradition doesn't make it true. Bandwagon fallacy. Somebody who says Ronaldo is the GOAT but has never watched a football match in their entire life. He scores goals and he has a fantastic marketing brand but just because speed rides his meat does not make him the best footballer to ever live. Also think Real Madrid, 2017 Warriors. The burden of proof is when your homie says something so outlandish you could get put in a federal prison and when you call him out saying yo huh? that's whack he says Says, prove it. You don't have to prove anything. He's the one who made the outlandish claim. He's trying to put the burden of proof on you when that shouldn't be the case. If somebody makes a claim, they need to back it up. They do not get to put the burden of proof on you. No true Scotsman is making a statement and then backpedaling and adding additional context or criteria until it's right. In reality, you should say that from the very beginning when you make your statement instead of saying something crazy and then backpedaling or adding additional criteria that confuses people. I hope this helped. It landed. Maybe it didn't. Let me know below. You're awesome and see ya.